Elon Musk's SpaceX, they launched an uncrewed prototype of its Starship rocket today with an unfortunate ending. Uh, the massive ship exploded shortly after takeoff. Again, no one was, was on board, but the rocket is designed to eventually carry passengers to the moon and to Mars. For more, let's bring in ABC News contributor, retired NASA astronaut and aviation expert, Katie Coleman. Katie, it is good to see you. Uh, you and I were on the air when this happened. This is the second attempt to launch this Starship this week. Monday's first launch attempt was scrubbed before blast off. So what led to the explosion that we saw today? I think the explosion at the end, I mean, I, um, we're all, information is scarce, but I, I would assume that because the rocket was not in control, not going where it's supposed to, that it was actually triggered to explode um, by the by the U.S. range, by, the, by, by, by SpaceX. You know, they actually can, they have explosives on the rocket to make sure that if they need to, they can basically blow it up before it lands somewhere it's not supposed to. That's, that's a new twist. Um, but as we were talking about earlier today, that what you're seeing right there, the launch off the pad, uh, SpaceX considers a success. What kind of data can they gather from today's launch? There's so much data that they can get. And, and I want to emphasize that, you know, it really is a, a big success, especially to have been able to leave the pad. In other words, um, not to have something happen, you know, to actually start the rocket, have it launch and not uh, not lose the pad. And they'll still have to do some damage assessment on the pad. That'll be one of the things they'll collect data on. Um, but there's so much data that they have, you know, putting this all together, that SpaceX has been able to do individual tests, you know, with certain numbers of engines, never this many, never everything all stacked up together to understand how this vehicle would behave. And this is a really important step forward. Um, I'm sure they've got a lot of data visually, a lot of data from sensors, and we'll be learning a lot in the next few, I, Elon mentioned it was probably, would probably be a few months before they tried again. And, and that's actually the pretty neat thing about the way they're thinking is that, you know, they take audacious steps to try things, but they are ready to try again. Um, as soon as they understand this data, they have uh, starships and boosters ready to go. As you know, NASA has already planned, announced plans to use the Starship rocket to put astronauts on the lunar surface in 2025. What does today's explosion mean for carrying passengers to the moon or even Mars in the future? It means, uh, it means a great step forward. I mean, this is a hard thing, and they did a whole bunch of hard things to even get to that point today. But, you know, understanding how to get this thing fueled, how to get it started, how to get it off the pad, all those things were marked as impossible just, you know, a few uh, couple years ago. And I think back in 2016, Elon Musk set, announced the uh, interplanetary transportation system. I mean, that's what we saw. We saw the first integrated test of the interplanetary transportation system. That's a big deal, the ship that's going to take us to the moon and to Mars. And, and so um, I think that as somebody who would love to go on that rocket, <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't rule it out. I think I did earlier today. But, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't stop me because this, I mean, this is how we do hard things. And if you look back at the 70s and the 60s and the 50s, th there were a lot of explosions and hard days back then, too. This is the way engineering happens. All right, Katie Coleman, thanks so much. It was fun to watch it with you. Uh, the excitement nice. of it, you know, with, you know, seeing on your face, the excitement was really great. I appreciate your time. Thanks. You know, it's something you can't undo, really, like watching something like that together with someone. So it was great to watch it with you today. Thanks. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.